This is the PSK-1 portable soldering kit. Comes in a handy black carrying case, has a belt loop so you can put it on your belt, carry it with you on the job. Inside the case, you'll find the actual soldering iron itself, butane charged. We'll go over that in a moment. You have a can of Zippo triple filtered butane. Basically, they've got all the water particles out of it. It doesn't interfere with the catalyst. You always want to use premium fuel when you're dealing with a PSO. You have one ounce of 6040 solder for getting those connections perfect. It has a replacement tip, which is a 4.8 millimeter. It's a little blunter than the standard 2.4 millimeter that comes with a soldering iron. It has six flits. You'll have to replace those from time to time. And it comes with an instruction sheet. You want to follow this very closely. Now, when it comes to charging the, the soldering iron, it's a very simple job. Basically, you want to make sure it's cool. You don't want to do it, but it's been used recently. Shake the can up, turn it upside down, press it, fill it, and you'll hear it either start to bubble. I normally just count to 10 or you'll hear it start to bubble, then you'll know it's fine. You want to give the air time to, to clear. You don't want to be standing in a flame cloud. To start it, this is the adjusting bar here. This is the on-off switch. You can hear it hissing. It'll light and then it'll turn orange. When it turns orange, that's the catalyst activating. Let it run for about one minute. It'll be up to temperature. It's ready to be used. When you're not using it, you can put it back in your pocket. In this case, I don't have a pocket, but if the cap acts as an insulator. So even if you've used it, you can put a cap on and put it away. You don't have to worry about getting burned. The soldering iron goes from 10 to 60 watts. What that refers to in temperature, I have no clue. But that's what the manufacturer says. To adjust the, the heat level of the soldering iron, let the catalyst go at the bottom here. You can either turn it up or down. You'll get used to the setting you're going to need for your particular applications. Again, if you have to recharge it, it's pretty simple. Take your butane And I've been using this, it's probably not a good idea that I strike it like this, but who cares? 